Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, I know I usually don't do videos like this on this channel, but I found something that I think you guys are really gonna love. I don't know how I chanced upon it either. It somehow appeared. Craziest thing is that I never noticed it until now. I just skimmed through and I was just mind blown. I was like, we need to make a video. We need to make a video showing you guys what this is all about. It's your favorite, the Titan Academy School Series. Bam! On fandom, there is a fandom, there is a wiki about all of us, the whole Titan Academy series. Check this out. Class T1, T5 wiki. 119 pages. <laughs> what? Class T1, T5 is a popular YouTube series ran by Jin Hao Tan. Class T1, T5 takes place in Titan Academy, a prestigious private high school located in Singapore. I mean, fictionally, I don't really know. All right, uh, just to give you guys a little bit of context, guys, Titan Academy is the school series that we do on um, a monthly, weekly basis. Sometimes, I don't know, depends on whenever we get to shoot, you know. It's not very easy to get everyone to come together, but when we do, we always try to make a great video for you guys. Someone actually took the time to write all of this. The series focuses on Jin Hao Tan, a carefree yet troublesome student known for his popularity around school. He is constantly failing his exams, yet he almost passes every time. The teachers don't seem to help him as he somehow manages to have horrible relationships with them. Man, that is so genius. I didn't even plan to write something like this. Like, I never made my videos. I, I never created this series with the idea that this was the plot. Somehow you guys wrote it for me. You guys put it out here. You guys are the best. This is this is so crazy. All right. Class T1, T5 occasionally described as the worst class in the school, except for Denise, a highly intelligent student uh, who tops the class and you know, begins to have a one-sided crush with Denise. It's not one-sided, okay? But has to compete with his best friend Vincent who harbors the same crush on her despite him being lazy and unintelligent. Wow, wow. By the way, class T1, T5, if you guys really want to know what it stands for, it's the first three letters of Titan, and then it began with five of us. Um, the OGs who followed this channel would know that um, it started with five of us. Now that you guys know a little bit about the name, uh, let's take a look at... What, what shall we take a look at? Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, you got They put it into seasons. We're going places. Let's take a look at Denise. You know, she's one of the most popular Students, it's funny because usually the most popular student is maybe not so good at school or something. Denise, who happens to be the best academic, Jesus, how, how do you say that? Academically, academ. Denise, who happens to be good in school, um, is popular. All right, let's. She is the main tritagonist of the series, as well as the top student of her class. Wow. They describe her personality. Man, you guys know more about Denise than I do. Her persistence in school can suddenly go Ori under the influence of alcohol. This fandom is the best. This is insane. Relationships, there's, there's, there's me, there's Vincent, there's Terry, uh, Madam Suit Bang. Wow, Madam Suit Bang. And if this was a card game, or if this was FIFA, Denise would be like the top character, you know, she'll be the unlockable character. Look at her stats, jeez. Why are her stats so high? I don't even know what it means, but it's so high. Denise is described as a good role model for female viewers watching the series due to her kind and hardworking attitude, which is something that I have noticed in the comments. And that is why when I actually made her a little bad, I was like, wait, I think Denise is the epitome of what every student to aspire to be. So we made her good again. But you never know. You never know what may happen. You never know. Any environment, you're bound to be under some form of influence, some peer pressure. Um, nobody is perfect, okay? We wanted to give her a weakness, and that weakness is in her relationships. As you can see, Denise was not in every single video because um, it, at good teachers versus bad teachers, she was actually overseas. That was before these videos actually became a, a series where everyone followed, then we realized that, okay, we need to keep our characters as they are. Let's take a look at myself, shall we? It starts off with a quote. Look on the bright side. There's plenty of sea in a fish, right? <laughs> Look on the bright side. There's plenty of sea in a fish, right? <laughs> Some of you guys actually thought that was a mistake, but 
I said it on purpose. I know it's a bit strange, right? But if you think about it, there is a lot of sea in the fish. He is short. <laughs> His hair is always dyed with a variety of colors, but the most common is lighter colors. His hair is slightly messy. Well, I try to keep it neat, okay? We recently only started hiring the makeup artist, so come on, give me a little slack here. Outside school, he's usually wearing sweatpants. It's true. You know, savvy, confident, courageous, mischievous teenager, um, friendly and loyal. This allows him to have a lot of friends throughout the series. Wow. You guys know me better than I know myself. This is so useful for me if I ever forget who I am or... <laughs> Sorry, that doesn't make sense. Now, as you can see here, occupation, student, family, Gong Gong, Sylvia, Nicole, Zikai. So consistent, so updated, even updated with the latest class. Wow. Um, go to have a relationship with Denise. That's not my only goal. For my character, yes, I guess that is one of the goals. Friends, Vincent, Denise, Crush, Renny Siang. Sometimes, <laughs> Kevin, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. I love that. Enemies, Terry. Uh, Madam Subang, yes, uh, Madam Subang does uh, dislike me. Bro, come on! Likes being lazy. Yo, what? Procrastinating. That is true, that is true, even in real life. Fortnite. Misbehaving in class. That I like. And not doing homework. Oh, come on, who likes doing homework? Do we even need to put that there? The main source of humor in school series is Tian Hao's unmatched unluckiness. Yes, I do tend to be quite unlucky. Yo, what? My stats! After seeing Denise, this is how could this I'm like I'm like one of the characters you don't wanna use. What's that about? I'm supposed to be the main protagonist. The main protagonist! Whoever wrote this, we need to have a word. Four out of five for cunning. Integrity, three out of five. What? Work ethic, one out of five. Let's move on, let's move on, guys. Let's move on. How can the main protagonist be so weak? So shall we take a look at uh, Hakim? Hakim is one of the supporting characters in the school series. He is usually in the production team outside the school series. What? They know! Hakim is an honest and caring person, helpful around others while being positive. <laughs> However, his relationship with Vicky prevents him from talking to anybody because of her fears of him trying to cheat on her. Wow! You know, I never even like had the intention to write it like this. But you know what? I always had it. That was the plan all along. Background information. Go. Get Vicky to trust him. <laughs> Dislikes. Vicky not trusting him. <laughs> Vicky ruining his vibe. Vicky not allowing him to talk with others. Especially Abby. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, Kevin. I have not seen Kevin's. Kevin is a minor antagonist of season 3. He is a stout boy who falls sick very easily. And <laughs> he has a crush on his classmate, Ren Yixiang. Although he does not seem to reciprocate uh, those feelings. So good! Like matcha creep cake with a tinge of tiramisu. You want some? No, no, I'm gluten free. Look at his stats. <laughs> no, that's low. <laughs> Ooh, Debbie. Now that is my wife right there. Debbie is shy, soft-spoken, and awkward, but kind and intelligent. Is that so, darling? Come here, check this out. Come check this out. Just look at this, darling. I am the bell. I am the bell. You are the bell. If you guys didn't know, in real life, this is my wife. <laughs> in Titan Academy, she clearly likes Ben. Debbie is very generous and kind. Am I? Are you? I think so. Yeah, I think you're kind. I think is you play the, the in the in the character or in real life. You're all, you're you. So at times Debbie is <laughs> no. You're always kind. You are always kind. Oh. Okay. She also believes her classmate Ben is a boyfriend despite him not wanting anything to do Aww. with her. Oh no, that's just sad. Look at that Ben. Her innocence and love towards Ben also result her in getting bullied a lot by her own classmates, particularly I... Trev. Oh, your stats are quite high. You have like three, five out of fives. I don't know what this statistics is for. Maybe there's a game. There's a Titan Academy game that we are currently working on that I'm not supposed to say. I don't know if we should put that in. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you want a Titan Academy game. Do you like your character? Yeah. 
What would you like to see your character do? Get back at Ben? I know that's what everyone is saying. Get back at Ben. We'll think about it. Let's move on. Shall we take a look at uh, Mr. Dan? Dan. How about Dan? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's great. Alias is Boomer by Tiena. Yes, Dan is a Boomer. Look at him. He's so nice. Enemies none. Likes PE. <laughs> Dislikes people who don't believe that PE is important. <laughs> I love this! Whoever wrote this is so amazing. I want to meet you and I want to like, just like, shake your hand. Awesome job that you guys have done. I don't know guys, should I continue? Pablo Diablo Lacoche, better known as Mr. Lacoche, is a former photographer. He is. He was such a great photographer. He was such a good actor that there was no way we wouldn't bring him in. So the moment Madame Subing left, I was like, Mr. Lakosh needs to somewhat be involved in the Titan Academy. Friends, Mrs. Boo, mistress. He wears a black jacket with an X symbol in the middle with a black Louis Vuitton scarf and wears a silver watch. Wow. Madam Suit Bing. Now, Madam Suit Bing is one of the most, um, most hated and most loved. Madam Suit Bing is the second official teacher in Class T1, T5. Yes, she is. She is currently terminated from Titan Academy. Madam Subing has indeed left the Titan Academy some time ago. There has been times where I wanted to bring Madam Subing back. Felt like when she left, it really made an impact on the students. Really changed, you know, the whole dynamic of everything. So I think I gotta keep it like this for a while before I bring her back, but who knows. Let me know, do you want Madam Subing to return? Family, unknown husband, unknown child. Now the thing about Madam Subing is she's been pregnant for a long time. Madam Subing has been pregnant for almost two years I think. You know, we are doing a short film well because of the virus we can't do it, do it and right now but when we get to the short film I will reveal who Madam Subing's husband is. How can Madam Subing have higher stats than me? Come on guys, you guys like me right? I am insecure about my stats alright? <laughs> I just have a good balance of like Bad luck. Because I write the bad luck for myself. Something to think about. Mr. Papadum, let's move on. Uh, shall we take a look at Ren Isiang? Alias is DJ Ren. Oh my god, from that one video where he was the DJ of the of the party, he called himself DJ Ren. Don't worry! DJ Ren is in the house. Oh my gosh. Family, unnamed sister. Yes, he does. Now he has two sisters. Likes Kevin, impressing patient. It's really amazing to just read this and see because it is really a lot of hard work. The team puts so much hard work and effort into this. So to actually see this, to see a breakdown of every character. I promise you, I didn't write this. So whoever wrote this, I'd love if you guys can somehow contact me because I think you guys are so amazing. I just wanna like, I just wanna say thank you. This is so cool. Renny Xiang appears in Life Before versus After the Virus as himself and not Ren Yixiang, making Tianhao the only character to appear in every episode of the series. Oh, I finally have something. I finally have something special about me. <laughs> the cleaning lady. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. The cleaning lady works in Titan Academy. This is the only job she has and takes cleaning seriously. Guys, I need to tell you something. We do have a janitor. In fact, we have two janitors and <laughs> if you guys didn't notice, I'm going to put it here. They clearly look very different <laughs> except for I, I made them have a mole on the face. Let's look at Trev. Likes, flexing, <laughs> Gucci Prada, Louis Vuitton, spending time with Abby, Korean dramas, crash landing on you. Dude, that's the latest episode. How are they so updated? Hey guys, hey, anyone here watch Korean drama? Crash landing on you. Why is Trev's intelligence one out of five? No. Sherilyn likes annoying her classmates and teachers. Uh, indeed. Wow, popularity five out of five, reputation five out of five. This is crazy. Alright, uh alright, alright, you know what? Let's take a look at one of one of the students from the new class, N4T1. And if you guys want to know what N4T1 means, it's actually the word Titan, but backwards. The series is directed by Hakim and Dan. So I take, I play a little part in it. Obviously, you know, I have to make sure that 
the narrative flows together with the whole Titan Academy series. But basically, the little details, um, I'm, I'm not that involved in it. I'm just there, you know, watching the second generation and it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Go to be noticed by Tian Hao. <laughs> likes, you know, fish and chips. Dislikes getting punched. <laughs> Who likes getting punched? I, I couldn't thank you guys enough. You guys have made the series what it is today. You know, with all your support, all your love, we've always just want to do more videos for all of you. So yeah, if you guys want to take a look at this uh, fandom, go ahead because it is pretty cool and I'm just speechless. So I'm gonna end the video here, you know. Thank you guys for your support. You are the reason we do this and we are making some upgrades to the Titan Academy series and I can't wait to share that with you guys. And we're working on a special app Maybe a game as well. Oh my god, I'm not sure if I can even say it yet. But let me know if you guys want that and you never know. Anyway, um, shout out to whoever wrote this. I mean, thank you for noticing all the small details that would usually get lost and left behind in a 15 minute YouTube video. But you guys are literally the best fan. And we make jokes for the general audience that everyone can understand, including the adults. There are so many of you. And I'm really glad that all of you enjoy. I even read the comments all the time and you guys, Thank you for your support. And as our journey continues, our characters will move on to university, work life. So it's going to be fun building this little universe. Maybe one day it will become bigger. So let me know what you guys want to see. Leave it in the comments down below. And let me know if you agree with my <laughs> statistics. Sadly, it's pretty accurate. So that's it. Subscribe here. Watch our latest video. And <laughs> Subscribe to our family channel. <laughs> Not planned at all. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to the Jebby family. We have a new family channel. So we'll see you there as well. Bye. Watch me cut his hair. No. No.